Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and this evening we'll have the look at the latest from the live radar then we'll have a look at the weather warnings as we do have yellow wind warnings in force for this weekend we'll also have a look at short range models at the potential for some very windy and wintry weather over the course of Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then we'll have a look at the longer term forecast as well as we go into the start of December so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow on Twitter as well the link's in the description now, over the course of this evening, we do have a weak weather front progressing across the UK, um, and this is ahead of much colder air pushing through, which is the second sort of northerly shot we've had this week, following on from one uh, earlier this week around Sunday, Monday, and we're going to have our final northerly shot, um, at least for the next few days, over the course of Friday and Saturday, and that where we could be seeing some very windy and wintry conditions, so do stay tuned when we have a look at the charts for that. You can see, though, a weak weather front, bit of patchy, drizzly rain, um, sort of moving southwards, and behind it, we go into a much showery and cold air mass. Now, this air mass isn't as bitterly cold as it will be on Friday and Saturday, so we are seeing snow showers over the hills and to low-lying areas, mainly rain at this stage, but that cold air is just getting in. It's going to really hold down the temperatures, though, over the next few days. Highs around 5 or 6 degrees, um, quite widely. Lower than that in a few spots, and overnight, around freezing, if not below. Now, if we have a look at the weather warnings, now, if you saw my videos yesterday, we had a look at these already. They haven't changed. I do suspect over the next day or two, they will be um, at least updated, potentially shifted and cropped a bit. Um, and we could even be seeing amber warning, maybe, in a few spots. And I would be surprised if we didn't see at least a yellow warning for snow over some areas across Scotland and maybe even northern England as well. We'll have a look at those charts in a minute. But you can see, again, we have the yellow wind warning. Um... From midday to midnight, I'll run through these very quickly as we did go in detail yesterday. Again, 60, for 50, 60 mile per hour winds, 70, 80 mile per hour winds potentially in a few spots. And then we have a widespread warning through Saturday, really only cropping out the far southeast. Again, very windy weather from midnight, uh, Friday night over to Saturday to 6 p.m. on Saturday. And you can see again, 56 mile, uh, 60 mile an hour widely with 70 to 80 miles per hour in a few coastal spots. Again, biggest risk really will be in the north over North Scotland and across the eastern coasts. But anywhere you can still see these very strong gusts. So make sure you stay tuned to the Met Office warnings. I do suspect these will be updated over the next day or two because we are still a couple days away. So things can subtly change in terms of exact wind speeds and locations as well. So do stay tuned for that. Now, if we do go on and have a look at the UK Met Office run. Now, it hasn't fully come out. We only have it out to um, about... Uh, 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 early Sunday so we can't have a look right to 120 hours but we see the main potential snow risk um, through Friday into Saturday so you can see over the course of the evening a few snow showers across the north elsewhere cloudy in the south with some patchy rain across the north brighter skies in the cold air mass so will be a frost there snow showers still packing into northern scotland overnight tonight before things turn a little bit drier still some snow showers potentially in the north and by thursday afternoon we see initial weather fronts pushing could be snow of the highlands but it is within a wedge of milder air so this weather front is going to be rain for pretty much everyone however behind it through friday evening uh, well, Friday afternoon into evening, we start to see the much cold air mass spread in through Scotland, turning heavy snow potentially over parts of northern Scotland. And in the afternoon, we can even be seeing snow come to northern areas over some of the hills as well. The main risk, though, will be into Saturday. You can see overnight Friday, we're seeing weather fronts sink southwards, heavy snow potentially across Wales, potentially southern west, southwestern parts and other areas of snow across northern Scotland, northern England, into parts of eastern England as well. And as we head into Saturday, you could even be seeing some, an area of snow move through the Midlands into the south, the southeast, and we could even be seeing a dusting here or there. But I do suspect it will generally just be falling snow, um, potentially quite heavy as well, with very strong gusty winds. You can see the northerly winds moving in with a lot of snow showers packing into Scotland as well. That's where we could see the highest accumulations. And through Saturday afternoon, showers into the east could line up together, in fact, and become... We could be seeing some heavy snow showers in the east, and we could even be seeing accumulations from that. And then through Saturday evening, things start to die down as we do return to more of a westerly outlook by Sunday afternoon with weather fronts pushing in, um, coming up against 
the low pressure and it could be maybe some snow along the eastern edge of that but at this stage it's not looking like anything too massive is coming up on the models again the UK Mail Service run sometimes does overdo, uh, uh, underdo sorry the amount of precipitation that is there it does focus mainly on intensity of precipitation so even though those charts didn't show masses of snow we could still be seeing some significant snow in a few places now if we have a look at max temperatures uh, you can see, of course, this evening it's going to be pretty chilly. Um, early hours of Thursday, widely across the north, we could be seeing a frost. Um, potentially temperatures in and around, um, in and around, potentially sort of freezing, maybe below that across Scotland. And then as we progress through Thursday afternoon in Scotland, not really getting above freezing elsewhere, four or five degrees, maybe the odd six or seven along the south coast. Thursday night, a widespread frost for all, really, across many central England uh, areas in England, much colder. Across the north, though, we have that weather front pushing in, so things are a little bit uh, above freezing. And then through Friday, in the south, we see that wedge of milder air, so 7 or 8 degrees, but across Scotland, you can see the bitterly cold air arriving, below freezing. And through Friday evening, you see that cold air dropping southwards, and early hours of Saturday, most areas will be in and around freezing freezing if not below freezing and you can be see by 3 p.m on saturday the coldest day of this cold spell widely below freezing across northern england northern scotland well pretty much a whole of scotland and really around one or two degrees for many parts of england wales ireland and northern ireland coastal areas and the far south may hold on to maybe three four five degrees but still very cold and the wind chill will make it feel much colder than that um, as well now if we continue beyond that you can see early hours of sunday will be a harsh frost across many central areas getting down to maybe minus three minus four degrees maybe minus five minus six across scottish highlands um, very cold and then eventually you can see early hours of monday could be seeing another very harsh frost across the e across eastern areas of england before weather fronts do push in bringing in much milder air now if we also have a look at the wind gusts which are going to be potentially problematic you can see nothing major until friday 100 mile per hour winds potentially across scotland um in gusts that is not sustained or oh, that would be very dangerous indeed widely 50 to 60 if not 70 or 80 as you can see that coming down between friday and saturday for diminishing through saturday evening so you see very strong wind gusts coming through with that uh, center of the low moving through uh, early hours of saturday so could be seeing some very very um sort of dangerous conditions with potentially for some very torrential rain if not heavy snow um, and that mixing together heavy snow and strong winds could be blizzard conditions and of course with very cold air around as well we could be seeing very very low wind chill um, i had a look at a met office forecast and they said the wind chill uh, for many areas will be below freezing regardless of the temperature at the surface across scotland could be down to sort of minus five minus ten in terms of wind chill so very very cold indeed now if we have a look at what the icon is showing in terms of precipitation you can see again nothing too major at the moment a bit of snow showers across the north that weather front initially comes through mainly rain for snow on its back edge and the early hours of saturday widespread snowfall across many areas of northern england into central england across the midlands as well you couldn't rule out some accumulation from that and then it pulls away early hours of saturday falling overnight while it's dark is going to be the highest chance of seeing any accumulations so that could be a bit of a snow um snow maker there potentially a uh, bit of a snow event maybe beyond that though we continue with snow showers potentially pembroke dangler could get going a few snow showers across the east and the north as well uh, eventually things start to ramp down with weather fronts pushing back in the west if we do have a look at snow depths temporarily you can see some, some decent snow depths across scotland maybe northern england and even some patchy snow depths across eastern england as well now if we have a look at the gfs see how that does compare you can see again Weather front's pushing through over the next sort of uh, 24 hours for, uh, into Friday morning. The weather front's pushed southwards and then turning to heavy snow at its back edge and potentially some very heavy snow early hours of Saturday, even for central England into East Anglia as well, mixing with that very cold air as that does push through. Very interesting seeing that. And also a very important thing is to look at the UK zero degree isotherm. That is the level at which freezing reaches the surface. Now remember, you don't need freezing temperatures at the surface to get cold, uh, cold uh, to get cold enough conditions for snow 
um, you need it to a sufficient level that snow doesn't melt until it reaches the ground because you get evaporative cooling, etc. So you can see overnight Friday into Saturday, freezing levels drop to maybe only 100 or 200 meters across the south, further northwards down to around zero um, or maybe 50 meters. So all areas in the north look likely inland at least of seeing, uh, at least of seeing snow. But there is a slither across central England um, from the north all the way down into the south of seeing around 100 to 200 meter for the freezing level which would bring snow down to the surface at least within heavier precipitation um, and if we do get evaporative cooling and remember if you're on a hill even a moderate hill around sort of central England's maybe 100 meters 150 meters you could be seeing that freezing level get to you with temperatures in the day on Saturday looking likely in a few spots only getting to around one or two degrees so very very cold indeed. Now if we go through the GFS, the GM and the ECMWF, we'll have a look at what these are showing in the longer term. You can again see northerly winds moving through briefly across the next um, day or so before we see a wedge of mild air before the very bitterly cold air moves through for Saturday. Um, and that just continues for eventually we start to pull in milder air by sort of a Tuesday time. And then we actually do see another potentially quite cold northerly wind for next Wednesday. So much colder air pushing through. Again, it's a bit of a transient uh, northerly wind. Only be around potentially for sort of two days or so, Wednesday, Thursday, before getting shunted away by Friday. Could even be seeing a bit of a snow event there with on, on that boundary from the cold and milder air. But we're a good week plus away. So bit uncertain at this stage to be having a look at that but could be going very cold that at least with temperatures and of course with a northerly wind convection will be getting going as well with that beyond that westerly winds do push back in and things generally look um drier in the south still quite chilly in the north with colder air masses but it is still a generally a westerly wind so no signs of anything majorly cold for the start of december at this stage but we are still a long way out so it's a bit uncertain um, at the moment if we have a look at the GM, so it does compare, you can see again, very similar pattern in the next few days with very cold air moving through. And that very vigorous low pressure system with very strong winds, stormy conditions with it, with that winteriness as well, with the snow, sleet and rain moving through. And then we go generally westerly once again. And by next week, we do briefly pull in a bit of a northerly wind with the transient ridge towards um, Iceland. But that cold air only sits over the UK for a day or two before getting pushed away and us going back westerly again. So that cold wind next week could be pretty chilly in terms of at least temperatures, getting very cold towards the surface, considering we've had a bit of a cool down this week, quite considerable cool down this week. Uh, so we could be seeing some harsh frost with that, and we could be seeing some wintry showers, of course, in the north and the east. And again, we'll have to see how that does set up, um, seeing if we see any sort of occluded fronts or whatever, giving us some potentially more sustained um, um, snow or wintry precipitation at times. Now, if we have a look at the ECMDF, see how it does compare. Again, you can see northerly winds, very unsettled conditions through Friday into Saturday, potentially stormy with um, winteriness as well with that. And then again, we see that brief northerly wind through next Wednesday into Thursday, but again, gets pushed away and generally go back to a westerly sort of regime. Not massively, massively mild, not massively cold, and not massively stormy. The jet stream isn't that powered up, but it's from a westerly direction. So it's going to be mild or cold as sectors um oscillating between each other so it's looking pretty typically autumnal uh, conditions for the first week of december not massively cold not massively mild either now if we finish up have a look at the gfs ensembles you can see around average or just below average at the moment but that will be dropping over the next day or two to around minus 5 at 50 hpa we see that brief rise um to around freezing or just below freezing as that milder sector moves through so mainly rain with that weather front especially in the north and then we see temperatures drop down much colder to around minus 5 and 50 hpa and that's where the snow potential comes in um for friday and saturday the temperatures generally do rise to around average uh, before dropping down with that potentially another northerly wind for the, like, the first few days of december um not guaranteed at this stage there still is a bit of scatter around but most are going for that cold conditions quite cold air mass as well moving through so it could be again another couple day cold spell setting up in the longer term things return to around average with not massive precipitation but no minimal precipitation either so it's looking a bit in between um looking generally just average really if we have a look at 
new snow depth spikes. You can see actually quite significant snow depth spikes now appearing for London between the 27th and 28th of November. So could be seeing some very, very unsettled conditions um, with that, with a lot of wind and potentially snow for a few as well. Now, I don't want to make this video drag on too long. I have made some very long videos over the last couple of days, so I won't have a look at Glasgow today. Um, but it is looking like we could be setting up a properly cold, wintry and stormy weekend. Could be really quite wild out there on Saturday. So make sure you stay tuned to the forecast, stay, stay tuned to the Met Office warnings as well, um, as I suspect they will be updated. So anyway, make sure you stay safe out there if you are going to be seeing, if you are going to be going out, um, or, or you're, at least you're planning to go out Friday, Saturday, when we could have very strong winds, busy cold wind chill as well, and the potential for snow, of course. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.